Hello, in this demo I'm going to show you around the Quick Start application that's generated by the Maven archetype for Apache Isis, a framework for rapidly developing domain-driven applications in Java. And so I've already run the archetype and I have the application running. So on this tab here we have the welcome page that we get up. There are two links that what we're going to follow. One is to the Wicket viewer, which is for a human usable a web app and one is to, through to the RESTful interface that's generated as well. And we'll, we'll look at both of those but we'll start with the Wicket Viewer. So let's start that up and open and we get the login page and the username we have is Sven, the password of pass, he's our super user. And if I uh, were to um, look for the to-do items, it's this venerable to-do item application we can see that initially we have no to-do items and so the fixtures menu here is to install some sample data for Sven and if I were to uh, click through the link now then I should have a number of to-do items so there are five let's look at the first one and in this we have on the left hand side we have the properties of the to-do item and on the right hand side we have some collections we have some um, dependencies and similar items, similar category, and over here we have actions that can be invoked upon this particular to-do item. So let's maybe just make a quick edit here, and we'll change this to say, must be semi-skimmed milk. Let's change the date, so let's say I'll do it later on this week, and um, maybe the category is wrong, so let's change that as well. Okay, I couldn't edit the completed button because the way I changed completed is I can toggle it over here or I can toggle it back. Notice that the title, by the way, changed when I did that. And I can go back again. Let's uh, go through to a similar item in the same category. And there we go. And let's supposing that I wanted to uh, mark this one as completed. It's fine. Now let's look at um, all those that are not yet completed and we can see there are four rather than five. Okay, so that's the, the application. Um, now Sven is our super user so we can also install some fixtures on behalf of other users. So I'm going to um, uh, populate them for, for guest here who's a sort of a regular simple user. So we've installed some fixtures for guest. Let's log out. Now let's log in as guest. I think his password is also pass if I remember correctly. No, it's not, so it must be guest and guest in that case. And we can see that his credentials are different and he's only able to, to list the to-do items and these will be the ones for him, so he's still got five because these are his five to-do items just coincidentally happen to have the same descriptions. Okay, so there we are, that's the Wicket application. Let's now go over to uh, our welcome page and open up the RESTful interface. And here what we've got is a, a set of JSON representations. And I need to log in again. Let's log in as Sven and pass once more. I was doing a HTTP basic challenge there, but that's configurable how that's done. We can list the services. And we can see we have to-do items. And these kind of correspond to the menu items you just saw in the wicket viewer and then if we go through to the to-do items we can see that one of the actions we can invoke is not yet completed and then here we have the invoke link so we can follow this through with a get and so um, what I'm actually using here is a, a plugin for Chrome called JSON Viewer and it lets me follow uh, and do gets which is what we need in this case so I'll click on there and we can see we get one, two three, four uh, to-do items, because I think I uh, completed one. So there we are, that's um, the, the two user interfaces that you get for free. In terms of how this relates to code, just very briefly, um, we have these links here through to, to the actual classes, and most of the behavior there was coming from the, from the to-do item or the to-do items domain service, and basically that's the entire application. Okay, so thanks for watching, and I hope that was interesting, and give it a whirl.